Battery saver apps are fake, it's true. Even though you may think these apps with millions and millions of downloads and excellent reviews are legit, that's not the case. In fact, it's actually really easy to prove that these apps have almost no positive effect on your battery life, and that's what we're about to do. So our test subjects for this video will be two Samsung Galaxy Tab 4s, which are lower-end budget tablets from back in 2014. First, we're going to charge up the devices to 100%, then we'll load them up with a bunch of apps. From here, we're going to install Do Battery Saver on one of the tablets, and we are now ready to begin the tests. For the first test, we're going to be playing some Minecraft for half an hour on each device, then we'll watch some YouTube for about a half an hour more. Let's go ahead and fast forward to the end of the test, where we see that the tablet without Do Battery Saver installed actually has 2% more battery than the other. That's kind of sad. For the second test, we're going to see if Do Battery Saver can save us some battery while the screen is off, so I'm going to connect my Bluetooth speaker to the tablet, start some music playing, and come back an hour later to check the battery level. Simultaneously, I'll do the exact same thing to the second tablet, except this tablet won't have Do Battery Saver installed. Alright, fast forward one hour, and we see that both tablets have the exact same amount of battery power remaining. For the final test, I'm going to see if Do Battery Saver's Healthy Charge feature is actually real. Healthy Charge is supposed to charge your phone at different speeds by using varying charging currents and voltages during three different charging cycles. I personally think this sounds like a load of BS, so what we're going to do is put two charging Galaxy Tab 4s side by side and see if there's any difference in charging speed at all. Remember, the tablet on the right is the one with the Do Battery Saver app installed. Alright, so one hour later, as you can see, the tablets have actually not charged at the same speed, and the tablet with Do Battery Saver installed actually has a whopping 1% more battery than the other. We're gonna go ahead and fast forward 35 minutes more just to see if anything changed, and the tablet with Do Battery Saver is still ahead. So after a grand total of almost 100 hours of charging each, the battery level difference between the two tablets was only 1%. So at the end of the day, it's quite obvious that battery saver apps do almost nothing to save you battery. The only real battery saving features they offer are closing running apps, adjusting your screen's brightness, and disabling wireless networks. All things you could do without a battery saver app, and instead with a more trusted app built right into Android called Settings. Thanks for watching, please subscribe to Arium TV if you enjoyed the video, I'd really appreciate it if you did, and I will catch you guys in the next video.